lurking at the back of the group and looks fairly uh, fairly relaxed. Well, nobody looks terribly relaxed at the moment as the attacks are starting to come. AG Tour Le Mondial have decided to get involved. And this is uh, Pierre Latour, touted by many as uh, potential for the future, a rider who can really do a good job. And no, not a great surprise to see that AG Tour Le Mondial have set him off first. Yeah, they just don't want to give uh, Francie de Jure an, an easy ride, and I, I say easy ride uh, tentatively because it's been a hard ride for them all day, but uh, when I mean an easy ride, it's uh, easy to set just a, a good tempo for the yellow jerks, you can just see them, they want to uh, make it a little bit harder, and now it comes up, but I think it's uh, real and moss, is it? Uh, but all started to, to come up, uh, so it looks as if Francie de Jure is trying to uh, make it a little bit more difficult. Well, he's going early, isn't he? This is very impressive stuff. Jean-Christophe Perrault has seen his teammate Latour, the young uh, man at the outset of his professional career, just 22 years of age, has a look over his shoulder and realises that this is surely a pre-arranged move, is it? I wonder, because uh, over his shoulder is the reigning champion going for the triple. He's 38 years of age. So these two riders have got a little bit of an advantage. Latour looks to try and give a dig out, but that's uh, relentless pace being set by Francais de Jeu. It doesn't look as if this attack is going to work on this occasion. Timo Bino's not panicking. Uh, no, not at all. Uh, but uh, now we're seeing a battle between the uh, two top French teams, AG2R with the two of them. And, uh, maybe, you know, last year's winner, uh, Perrault, uh, followed by uh, uh, Genius and the Yellow Jersey, you know. So it's a uh, battle between the uh, two of the top French teams. But just behind them in the green, you can also see they're still numbers there for uh, Cannondale. It's a narrow advantage, isn't it? Just uh, no more than what five. Race leader, and he's going to break, uh, break Pierre Latour's heart because he's dancing across this gap without any apparent difficulty. Janson, somewhat surprisingly, is the one that's able to respond. Pierre Mons, his teammate up the road, couldn't quite get to Pino and now finds himself distant and sitting in fourth place as Pino arrives onto the tail of uh, Pierre Latour. Will Latour be able to take the wheel? The Gravian eases with a kilometre to go. If he gets there, he still has a chance, and Jansson is going to get to them, and that could be three up front into the final kilometre, but it's Timo Pino, the leader of the race overall, surely heading towards overall victory. The appreciative crowd uh, includes some bread on by the looks of things, and uh, appreciating uh, all things French in this uh, French colony, and uh, we've got Timo Pino has managed to bring the tour with them. The tour is just starting to lose the wheel as Timo Pino pushes on. Yeah, this is a, a absolutely perfect all day. This team of been inch perfect. So easy. Timo Pino takes stage victory and with it the overall.